Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on a new amazing application, which is called GPT Researcher. This has been developed by Tavli and it's an advanced autonomous agent specifically designed to conduct comprehensive online research across a wide range of tasks. Now, its primary function is to generate detailed factual and unbiased research reports now additionally to this gpt researcher offers customization options that allow you as a user to focus on relevant resources outlines lessons as well as enhancing the efficiency and effectiveness of the research process now drawing inspiration from auto gpt as well as the plan and solve paper what gpt researcher has addressed the, is the two critical challenges in ai research which is speed and determinism now by employing a parallelized agent work approach you're able to see that instead of focusing on a synchronous approach we're able to see that a GPT researcher ensures that there is more of a stable performance as well as an increased speed. Now this design choice allows you as a user to obtain research results way more quickly and reliably which optimizes the productivity as well as saving a lot of valuable time. Now this is something that we're going to be checking out in today's video. We're going to also take a look at some of the features as well as taking a look a little bit more about the architecture of this application. We're going to also dive deep as to showing you how you can actually install it locally on your desktop and how you can actually access it on your local host. So make sure you stay tuned. And before we actually get into the gist of the video, it would mean the whole world to me guys if you guys can go subscribe to World of AI if you guys haven't already. I post a lot of content and a lot of value every single day so that you can benefit from it and that you can learn a lot from it. So I highly recommend that you check it out if you guys haven't already. And there's a lot of content that is, has been posted already and it's a lot of value. So you should definitely check it out if you guys haven't. Now, if you guys haven't followed the Twitter page, definitely do so as I'm going to be posting the latest AI content over here in terms of the AI news. So with that thought, let's get right into the video. The mission of GPT Researcher and its creators at Talvi is to empower individuals and organizations by providing them accurate, unbiased, and factual information. This mission reflects a commitment to leverage the power of AI to combat misinformation, as well as ensuring that users can access reliable and trustworthy knowledge. Now with GPT Researcher, it possesses a remarkable ability to devolve into the vast amount of online data, enabling it to analyze diverse sources and extract valuable insights and knowledge. Now one of the most notable and aspects as well as like the most like intriguing aspects of GPT Researcher is its customizable nature. We're able to see in the demo at the start of the video that you're able to actually have the flexibility to tailor your own research requests according to your own specific need and preferences. You can focus on relevant resources that align to your own research topic and ensure that you're able to gather the right information directly applicable and useful to what you give in terms of its prompt. And this is something that we'll showcase later on in the video. Now, I want to talk a little bit more about the architecture as we see over here. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can get a better idea. Now, the architecture of GPT Researcher involves the utilization of a planner and execution agent to facilitate the research process. This is something we saw with AutoGPT as well as with Baby AGI. Now, these agents work in a tandem to generate research questions, to find relevant information, and to ultimately produce a comprehensive research report. Now, the architecture takes advantage of both GPT 3.5 Turbo 16K parameter as well as the GPT 4 models to accomplish the research task effectively. Now, the planner agent plays a crucial role in the architecture as it's responsible for generating research questions based on the given task as well as the user input. Now, these questions serve as a prompt for the sequential research process. Now, the planner agent leverages the capabilities of the underlying language models to formulate high quality and informative questions that guide the research process. We can see over here in this architecture, you're given a task, but the task is then given to the research question generator, which focuses on different queries. 
So this execution agent are then deployed to execute these research questions which are generated by the planner. And this is where these agents employ a variety of techniques to locate the most relevant information based off of each question as well as each research question that is deployed from a task. They explore online resources, databases, as well as other repositories to gather this information and they extract valuable insights to get you the best type of formulated answer. Now, the execution agent are basically designed to efficiently navigate vast amounts of data that is available and they retrieve the most, like I would say, the best detailed related answer to your research query. So with the planner agent, we're able to then see that it takes on the role as a filtering as well as like uh, aggregated like way to filter out any bad information that is collected by the execution agent it then shifts towards retrieving the data and identifying the most relevant as well as the most valuable pieces of information so that it can create a cohesive research report and what's amazing is that it's able to collect so much data in like really quickly and you're able to get such a formulated detailed pdf that's up to like even 20 pages and this is something that is absolutely astonishing as to how fast you can get a research paper created within a couple minutes uh now to accomplish these tasks i want to talk a little bit more about the ending because i keep getting sidetracked and talking a little bit more about the overall scheme of this project but to accomplish the whole execution what GPT research the researcher then leverages is the power of GPT 3.5 which we talked about as well as GPT 4 models and what these models are they're basically advanced language models that have been developed by OpenAI and what they've done is that they use utilize these models to possess a deep understanding of natural language so that it can generate coherent as well as contextual relevant responses from searching online and this is by utilizing these models to enhance the quality and the accuracy of the research process so it starts off with the task that is given from a user the user is then able to deploy this research question which is selected through the preferences that you can set with the application once you're able to generate the research question it is then set out to different types of queries and there's infinite queries that you can select towards and it then what these queries do is that it scraps through different types of content on the internet and then this is done by the execution agent and this is what it does is that it gathers all the information in different query bubbles and from these bubbles it is then able to summarize it through visited sites as well as visited pdfs content files and it clogs it up into different bubbles and now what the actual planner agent does is that it then scraps through each and every different bubble that has gathered information and it then gets the best cohesive and relevant knowledge as well as the contextual relevant responses that are best guided for the actual research question and it formulates a response based off of whatever bubble was that was executed through the execution agent now you might be asking why might you use gpt researcher when you can just basically use any different type of application that can generate such large contextual reports well one of the main things is that most of these different llms as well as other trained like applications don't really focus on new data with gpt researcher it focuses on relevant like contextual reports as well as relevant content that is best suited for your research we can see current lms are trained on past and outdated information whereas gpt researcher focuses on relevant information now, another thing is that to form objective conclusions for manual research tasks it can take time and we can see that when you're able to generate from you can see from this demo too you're able to generate reports in like a couple seconds you're able to get like 20 page reports in a couple seconds and i have not seen any other application that is actually able to do this another thing is that solutions that enable web search such as chat gpt plus web plugins only consider limited limited resources that in some cases result in superficial conclusions or biased answers another thing is that users can select uh, the users 
Using only a selection of resources can create biases in determining the right conclusions for research questions or tasks. So these are some of the reasons why you would actually want to use GBT Researcher. And one of the main things I personally would want to use this is because of the speed as well as how it's actually able to focus on relevant information. You're able to see in terms of its feature, it generates researches, research papers, outlines, resources, and lesson reports. You're able to get 20 web sources per research to form objective and factual conclusions. Oops, my bad. You're able to get even like pages that are up to even 20 pages. You're able to include an easy use web interface. It scraps web sources as well as JavaScript supports. It's able to keep track and context of visited and used web sources. So you're able to actually get a citation of where the information is actually able to get like get, come from. You're also able to export the research reports to PDFs as well as other different types of files. Now, with that thought, let us actually get into the next step where we actually start installing this application onto our desktop. So first things first, you're going to have to have Python 3.11 or later installed. So if you guys haven't had Python, Python installed, definitely do so. You will also need to get this is an application that you will need to help clone the repository onto your desktop. Another application is Visual Studio Code. We might use this to edit the code or to actually deploy the actual application. So if you guys haven't had these three applications, definitely do so. And with that thought, let's get right into installing it. So first things first, you want to go on to the repository. I'm going to leave all the links in the description below, so do not worry. Click on this green button, copy this link, open up command prompt. Once you have that open, type in git clone. Paste the link and press enter. Oh shoot, I pressed the wrong thing. Press enter and it will start cloning the repository onto your desktop. Now what you want to do is get into the actual folder by typing cdgpt researcher. Once you're in the folder, you need to start installing the files and that is by copying this link right here, which is pip install dash our requirements so what you want to do is copy and paste it in command prop click enter and it will then start installing the actual files that are needed for this application so once this is done i'll be right back you will also need an open api key so make sure you have this installed or sorry not installed but make sure you formulate your key on this link i'll leave it in the description below if you guys haven't already uh, another thing that you want to know is that you need to make sure that you have a billing set up so that it's able to utilize open api's 3.5 model or gpt4 model now once you have that figured out you need to then go back onto the repo and you want to copy this command over here. This is for Mac, but in my case, I have a Windows, so I'm going to copy this link right here. But first, I'm going to paste my key. And once I have that copied, I'll paste it right here. I kind of messed up because I need to be in the right folder. But once I am in the right folder, I'll copy and paste it again, and I'll be right back. So guys, for some reason, I do not know how to or what the command is for windows to actually installize uh my open api key with this application so what i just did is i just uh what do you call it i just opened up the file or i launched the agent by copying and pasting this prompt right here so it will now start installing it and it'll start loading this application once it's ready so once it's done you can then now access it on your local host after pasting it so what i'm going to do for the open api key is that I believe there's going to be a settings tab on the application in which you can paste your open API key and that way you'll be able to uh, input your key so that you can utilize and access this application. So once the local host is ready, I'll be right back. Unfortunately guys, I cannot load this project because of this stupid w easy print it's not able to import some of the external libraries i tried playing around with it tried tweaking it tried installing it too i even uninstalled it i still couldn't figure it out but it's okay guys uh i'm just gonna show you a live demo on twitter 
this is just an example i just wanted to showcase you how you can actually generate research papers uh at least we got a chance to look at some of the features as well as architecture but once you have it loaded up on their local host it will then look like this you are then put into this file looking thing over here in which you can ask what would you like me to research? So in this case, you can ask it, should I invest in a semiconductor industry in 2023? Obviously for this question, you would want to select an agent that is related to finance. You wouldn't want to select an academic research agent. In this case, you would want to select the finance agent. So then you can ask you, what type of report would you like me to generate? You can read, uh, there's different types of reports that you can generate. In this case, you would want to have a research a report and then what it does is that there's an agent output and starts looking towards different types of tasks we can see that it's adding different sources from different websites to formulate your research report and at the end it starts summarizing the sources and as an output you can get this amazing research paper at the end that has a formulated uh response as to what you should do investment opportunities as well as a decision on what you should do and we can see it also puts it into a pdf you can download it as a pdf as well as copying it onto your clipboard and at the end you have a lot of different sources and references in which you can check back on and this is amazing as you're able to get such an amazing formulated answer because of this amazing application so in conclusion this architecture of gpt researcher employs yourself with the planner and execution agent to generate research questions as well as locating relevant information and producing comprehensive research reports it's a great way for you to actually formulate a lot of different research papers or planners that require a lot of time so i highly recommend that you check this out guys because it's very easy to access and it's very easy to install except for me i can't seem to install easy print but I hope you enjoyed this video guys thank you so much for watching it means the world to me uh make sure you subscribe turn on the notification bell if you guys haven't seen in my previous videos i highly recommend that you do so follow me on twitter and with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys very shortly peace out fellas